Hey friends, now we're going to dive into the advanced settings of your camera so you can take pictures like a pro. The X-Star is packed full of options to capture that perfect moment. Here are a few of the key settings. Let's start by opening the advanced camera settings menu. Tap on the camera wrench icon at the bottom right of the Starlink app. The first option, Mode, lets us change how the camera will react when we push the shutter button. Single shot is our default mode. Then there's burst shooting. This setting will take three to seven photos with one shutter click. Helpful when capturing fast moving action. We also have time-lapse and AEB or auto exposure bracketing options. We'll cover how to utilize these settings in another video. Next, we can choose the size or aspect ratio. The four to three aspect ratio is standard definition framing ideal for capturing photos. The 16 by nine ratio is more common for an HD format and is ideal for video. There are two different formats we can capture images in. JPEG images are compressed, creating a smaller file size. RAW or DNG files provide much more data from the image, making them larger files that are optimal for editing. You can choose to capture both JPEG and DNG images at the same time as well. The style option allows you to fine tune your aerial photography. This lets you adjust the sharpness, contrast, and saturation of the camera. WB or white balance lets you adjust the color temperatures for your photos. Pick the setting that applies to your scene or use the auto white balance option. Color is another way to get creative with your photos. If you're not familiar with editing photos on your computer, the color profiles will allow you to add filters to the image while you're shooting. Now let's take a look at the camera settings. Tap the camera settings icon. A new menu has opened and we can now see that we have two options at the top of the screen, auto and manual. You'll notice that when you're in auto, the ISO and shutter speeds are grayed out and the only option to adjust is the EV. Once we tap the M for manual, you can see that we can now adjust the ISO and shutter speed manually. Your ISO is the level of sensitivity of your camera to available light. The lower the ISO, the less sensitive it is to light and the higher ISO increases the sensitivity of your camera's sensor. With higher ISO, your camera can capture images in low light environments but this has some trade-offs. A higher sensitivity will add grain or noise to the image. Your shutter speed is the length of time when the digital sensor inside the camera is exposed to light. If you're snapping still images, your shutter speed will make a big difference depending on your subject. If you're trying to take a photo of a quick moving object, a higher shutter speed will help you capture the moment. If your shutter speed is too slow, you will end up with a blurry photo. For the best results in your photos, use the lowest ISO possible to achieve the desired lighting. Adjusting your shutter speed can also lighten and darken your image, so finding the right balance between ISO and shutter speed can be challenging yet rewarding once you dial it in. You'll notice as you adjust the ISO and shutter speed, your histogram will change. Ideally, you want the peaks of the histogram to stay in the middle of this chart. Here is a pro tip when using the manual settings. You can use the EV wheel to adjust your ISO and shutter. Roll up or down to adjust the ISO and click the wheel to toggle to your shutter speed. Then roll the wheel again. Let's close the manual camera settings menu by tapping the icon. That icon now has an M for manual. Again, you can adjust the ISO and shutter speed with the menu closed by using the EV wheel. Keep in mind, there's no perfect settings for your X-Star to capture photos. It always depends on your subject and the lighting, so take your time and practice adjusting these manual settings until you achieve your desired results.